Well. <laughs> that is not a toy. Why are you chewing on it? Start your computations. Good morning, beautiful sunshines. Happy 2023. This is my first video of the new year, which is interesting because I actually have a lot of footage that I just have not done. I have felt quite disheartened with YouTube, but that's okay. We're gonna get back on it this year and it's gonna be a good YouTube year for us. It can only go up from last year, honestly. I just did not have the best year last year. A very much hibernation period of time for me. This year is gonna be great because 23 is my lucky number because I was born on the 23rd and I just feel like it's a good number you know regardless i figured we would catch you up get back on track and we'll be in this together and we're gonna conquer the year let's go first things first we got kitten the newest member of the family the most joyous member today is december 15th it is max's death day so i woke up i had a good little cry and we're doing fine. It's gonna be a good day. We are getting a little surprise today, a little surprise. But it was a bit of a sad morning. When I'm sad about Max, I let myself be sad about Max. I look at pictures, I have a good cry, and then I move on. It's not like gonna ruin my whole day or anything, hopefully. <laughs> That's today, so just think about Max. Give him a little thought. We love him always. Ruby's doing a good job keeping his memory or, you know, being annoying like him and photobombing my video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna shower and I'll check back in with you in a bit. Voila, she is clean. We're getting camp room together. So he has a place to be introduced to the house. He's not too overwhelmed. Little baby. I can't tell if he's huge or if it's just fluffy. <laughs> So we got Squish December 15th. Squish was adopted before and returned and traded for a different kitten because they thought he was too much. Also, when I picked him up from the lady that had him, she, she said, good luck. <laughs> And when I brought him home, I understood why, because he's a little chaotic. He's a bit of chaotic. He's a chaotic bundle of joy, but he is worth it. Hello, Skoicharu. So we have a beautiful new member of the family. I had a much longer explanation recorded for you guys, but I don't want to bore you to death with it. So we'll just leave it at that. I will include lots of cute squish clips though. Also, Thanks to our sponsors for today's vlog, starting off the new year strong. Today's video is sponsored by our tried and true, our favorites over at Factor. You can go to factor75.com and use code Nikki60 to get 60% off of your first box. Factor is like a meal prep meal subscription service where you can get weekly deliveries of meals every single week. I use the word weekly, week. You get it. <laughs> they have a super handy dandy app that you can do absolutely everything on. It makes it so, so easy. You can pick up to four to 18 meals a week. And right now I just sit at four meals a week. It's just easy for me. And then whenever I'm hungry throughout the week and I wait until that point until I'm just too hungry to even fathom cooking, I just grab one, pop it in the microwave for two minutes, bam, ready to go. It makes my life so, so easy, so simple, and I make much less poor decisions. I don't do DoorDash as much anymore. I'm not like constantly ordering out, which actually ends up saving me a lot of money in the long run. And you don't have to worry about cooking or prepping or anything, which is always just a relief. So highly, highly recommend. You guys know I've been using them for so long. I buy them on my own, even when I'm not sponsored. I'm just a big fan of the brand overall. So again, check them out, factor75.com, my code is Nikki 60 for your 60% off. And yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring another video of mine. I am so, so grateful and so appreciative of your meals. Um, what you got there, buddy? Sir. <laughs> Sir. What is that? You just taking it along with you? As for the holidays, I had a bit of a fiasco. But Christmas Eve, I was supposed to fly out to see my family and my flight was canceled. I think because they said there was a fuel fuel shortage in San Diego, potentially that's why. Because when I flew again the next following week, that's what they were talking about. But that being said, I did spend Christmas alone in a 
almost unsurprising twist. My flight to Austin got canceled yesterday and they were like, there's no flights to put you on. We have nothing. We have nothing we can do for you. Nowhere near destination, nowhere in surrounding airports, nowhere in the next few days. We have absolutely nothing. So I'm literally alone on Christmas, which is fine. I've only sort of been crying all morning, which is silly. I'm like, I'm not even PMSing. Why am I crying? But I guess I also have emotions. But I also get my little kitten. I have a little squish who is like a Christmas present. And I'm feeling so very grateful. I'm trying to like count my blessings, you know, obviously very fortunate. I'm just sad that I'm not seeing my family and, and it's not by choice, you know, which is worse because I don't think I've spent every single Christmas with my family. I think there are some that I've spent with like my boyfriend's families or something, but this is the first one that I haven't spent with my family that's like not by choice. Like I wanted to see my family and I was excited and I had my bags packed and I was at the airport and I was like giving them my ID to check into my flight and they're like, oh, your flight's canceled. That sucks. I'm gonna try to book out a flight next week or something, hopefully, but today's a little on the sad side, not gonna lie. And I was luckily able to get another flight out on the first. So I got to fly out and see my family on the first. And the beginning of my year spent with my family was so nice. It's just anxiety, relief. I feel like I don't have to think about putting food on the table. It's like there and my family's there and there's people to talk to and laugh with. And it's just such a nice feeling. And I really miss my family. So that was so, so good. And so I'm very grateful that I got that time with them. Stab yourself. My sisters and I are about to go do a hot girl hot yoga session. 2023 vibes. Vibes. Then when I came back home, one of my sisters came back with me and I wanted to spend a lot of quality time with her. So I spent the next five or six days with her and we had a great time, sister bonding. I don't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with my sisters, so it's nice when I am able to. A lot of times it's just us as a group or just with the whole family, etc. So every time getting one-on-one -on -one is always fun. I got some with Savannah in December, some with Cheyenne in January. And I'm gonna drag Shelby out here another time because I need that one-on-one -on -one time bonding. And that was amazing, I loved it. So that is my catch up from the holidays. Other than that, nothing too crazy going on. I do have a dentist appointment and then we're gonna see where life, the world, the road takes us. All right, sun shines. Back to the dentist. It's just an ortho appointment today. We're checking up on my Invisalign, making sure everything is going well, which I think it is. But I feel like I'm always a tray behind because I just have a little bit of a forgetful nature. It is what it is. But yeah, we're gonna go to that appointment with Dr. Sarah Winter. We're gonna come back here and get a little workout in. New year, new goals. Gonna smash them out of the park. Let's get it. We finished up my ortho appointment. My teeth are actually moving so much. I don't know if you guys can tell. Probably not because I could hardly tell until they showed me the befores today, but my bottom teeth are just considerably straighter than they were and I'm very excited to see the progress. So it's nice to have nice pretty teeth. I just like having a good smile. I feel like smiles are always something I notice on people's faces and I just want a really nice smile. We're gonna go ahead and head home. I have a lot of stuff to do. Also, this new HBO series just came out. It's called The Last of Us. It got insanely good reviews, which I don't understand. It said it's the highest rated show on IMDb ever, but there's only one episode out. So I feel like it's a little early to tell. But regardless, I did watch the episode. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. It was really good. I enjoyed it. But I actually played the game that it's based off of, The Last of Us. I played it a decade ago, I'm pretty sure. I think I played it in 2013. 
I have very few memories about that time, except every time something scary happened in the game, I remember the guy I was dating at the time that I lived with, I would just like give him the controller and I'd be like, can you do this part for me? But now I love horror stuff, scary stuff. So I'm like, this is going to be such a different experience. So I'm going to replay that again on stream, I think. And if you guys watch the show, then it might be cool to check out the stream and see, you know, how the game ties in because I hear that, that it's similar. I have heard that. I don't know. We'll have to replay to find out and remember. We're gonna go home, check on kittens, get a workout in, and then maybe we'll do that. I gotta edit some too. I have to do some other work stuff, but tonight, hopefully, I'll be able to have some time to do that. Yee! Good evening, moonshines. We're making a nice, lovely glass of orange juice and greens. Something I learned, don't be like me, some glasses do not go in the dishwasher because they will warp, like this one, which will now permanently be crooked. <laughs> That's okay, we're fine with it. I'm just going to pop some greens in here. I actually really like it with the OJ. And it makes me feel like I'm getting some extra nutrients in, just in case. Can't hurt. Oh, these are the Alani Super Greens. This is my booby booby girl. Beautiful. Perfect. This is my Maximus. He's not with us anymore, but he stays in an urn. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching my catch-up vlog, vlog, and I hope to see you in many more this year. Hope you're having the best day. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.